Hey everyone, it's Salvador, and I have another layout today. Um, and this is a design team project for artattacksupplies.com, and of course I will leave a link in the description, you guys. I am really trying to get myself, pushing myself to do more layouts. The funny thing is, I think several years ago I got into scrapbooking, and that was because I wanted to make a scrapbook. Truth be told, I don't have one, net near one scrapbook full. Um, I just have a few pages, so I'm going to focus a lot on layouts, and in the process, I've been asked to record the process, so I will have um, the sped up, the sped up process, a little bit of narration at the end of this video, so I won't, I try not to make it too long, but um, for this collection, and just real quick, just a heads up, you guys, uh, Tracy is having a really good sale um, right now on the shop on the Magnolia stamps and the Magnolia doohickeys, and just FYI, I'm not sure if you guys have seen the sneak peeks that people have been posting online. The Harvest, um, uh, which one was it? The Harvest volume is coming out. You should be getting it today or tomorrow, pretty soon, and shipping that out if you guys, um, and yes, these are the doohickey clubs I have. The last one is the, cel uh, Celebration, and this one is Harvest. I've seen a sneak peek online, and they look absolutely adorable. If you, there's some for Halloween if you want to make it Halloween, but you can make it just fall. You can, they're really, I think it's really, this, this set is really good for scenes, for making scenes, whether it's scene cards or layouts or whatnot. Um, there's even a cute little wooden bridge, but anyway, she's having a sale on that. And actually, I did use two doohickey dies, um, but let me show you. First, I used the A4 uh, Prima Debutante Pack, and this is the paper. And um, I wanted this so I could do some layouts with my sister's pictures, where it's a little girly, a little feminine, but it's a little bit also multimedia kind of looking, um, even though I don't do really much of that. Um, but it gives it that touch. So if you're looking for that look, this is perfect for you. And I did use, you know, you know what? I actually did pull out some of the chipboards and I, and you'll see in the process video, I pulled them out to do them. And after the fact, I completely forgot, but I didn't want to go back in and add them and make it too cluttered. Um, so, but I did use some of the tags and this is from the tag me pack. Um, so I used some of those and these are the doohickeys that I used. This one is one of the new ones. This one is the Surfing Leaf, and it turned out so, so much cuter than I thought um, it originally it would. I was, I was wanting it, and I liked how it's curved and everything. It gives it kind of that firm look, but I really, really like the way it ended up uh, looking. And then this one, I don't even know if I've actually used this one before. I've die cut it before just to see what it looks like, but I don't think I've actually used it in any other projects. And this one is just the Butterfly. So I layered this one twice, and I'll show you guys that in a second. Let me move this out of the way. And this is my layout. Um, first of all, I did use one of the sheets. I You will see in the process video, this is actually two pieces because the A4, um, see, look, that's the part of the A4. So I had to cut out two of them and then layer them, but I fussy cut them around. And you see there's so much detail. I fussy cut around so you couldn't tell where it started and where it ended. So that is what I used. Now I used, um, and talking about Magnolia, I did use some of this Magnolia paper, which is a Christmas paper, but I just had this really nice small print that I totally liked. And it reminded me like of Playbills with these curtains on there. And I wanted to give that feminine touch for it um, since these are pictures of uh, my twin sisters and I. And on this side, it has these streams of ribbon. This is the first time I've used this paper, you guys. It's crazy. Um, so let's see here. Um, and this is, so let me explain. The I titled it Smile Like Crystal. Now, Crystal is my baby sister. Um, well, our baby sister. And she's the youngest of five, but we always mess with her. I mean... We love each other and we adore each other, but we love messing with each other. And we make fun of how my little sister, we call her Chris, takes pictures. Because the funny thing is, she has a beautiful smile and she's she's bubbly. She's our, like our little mascot. And I do mean little because she's like five foot nothing. So she's our little mascot and she's always smiling, always posing for pictures. And we joke that in all of her pictures, she has just a huge, bold smile. I mean, it doesn't look like she's going to eat your face with her teeth and stuff. But And then we used to joke that... Um, I used to tell her, smile, baby, smile, because daddy paid a lot of money for that smile um, because she had braces and they, they totally tortured her, but they totally paid off. And um, and we just totally mess with her because her pictures are just always just smiling and perking. And it doesn't matter where we are. If someone's trying to take a picture, she's perfectly ready. So um, 
And these are my twin sister. Well, they're not my twin sisters, but they're twin sisters, Emilia and Amelia. And it's actually by age, it's me, my brother Felix, the twins, and then the baby. So here we are, and it's actually a, pro a progression of three, uh, three pictures. This one is just us as Emilia, myself, and Amelia, and we're just you know taking a casual picture. Then you know we're blowing, we're doing the little ducky face, and then we just and basically whenever you hear any of us saying "smile like Crystal," you will get a picture like this. Like, it's just, my sister just smiles. She smiles much prettier than this, I promise you. But, um, this is just us totally making fun of her. And you'll see in the video, I actually, this is, I used this, um, Faber-Castell, Faber, whatever the crap they want to call it, soft brush, um, to write this. I didn't want to do... I, I was struggled with it. You'll see in the video. I struggled with it because I wanted it to look nice and perfect. Then I'm like, you know what? I want it to look a little bit messy a little bit different and because i really have to practice my calligraphy and stuff but i really liked how i still added a little bit but it was just us basically messing around so let's see i'm just jumping all over the place but yeah that's just us being a bunch of goofballs so let's start back up here here is the surfing leaf and look it just curls over these pictures gives it kind of like that um 18th century kind of look with all the ferns and stuff like that. Here's one of the tags that I used and this is some Tilda ribbon that uh, Rebecca sent me. Thank you Rebecca, hello. And um, I have something on the way for you by the way. And this one is, here are some more of the leaves and um, this is the butterfly where I layered it. Now instead of just layering it, I cut out the wings. I, I made the one in pink and this, the little body has two layers to cover all the cutting in the seams and stuff. And then I just moved the wings up a little bit and moved these up a little bit. So I had to cut all four apart and then move them up to give them more dimension and to give it more of a shadow. And if you can see, I actually put some wink of Stella, which I got from Tracy's shop as well, on that. Um, and here's one of the other tags. This one just has a perfume bottle with the little um ribbon right there and this is just covered i mean tied off with some jute twine and so is that one right there and this is from the paper i originally did it let me grab it i did it on white cardstock and i didn't i felt like it was too white too starch so i used some of the paper from the collection to i just cut it out in a one and a half inch um slip and i then at the end i just went ahead and put some weak and stella if you can see it yeah there we go Wink of Stella on the letters as well. So, um, now, I did... Someone pointed out my last layout that I didn't have any journaling. And, and you know what? I totally spaced out on that. Like I said, I really have to get on top of my layouts. And I've actually downloaded... I actually like um, saw some pictures online of um, sketches that I liked. And I think that would really complement my pictures of what I'm trying to... My aesthetic that I'm trying to put out with my layouts. Because some of them will be vintage, shabby, and then some of them will be more modern and sleek and simplistic and stuff. So anyhow, um, I put another leaf here. Now, my bright idea, which I won't do it again unless I have a backing, but I didn't want to cover the rest of it. And I figure if you're going to be close enough to read it, then you can read it. This is the sentiment. I mean, this is the journaling, and it is on vellum because I wanted the rest of this to show as well. And I just tucked it behind this picture. And it says, just another day of us messing with our little sister. Never stop smiling, baby sister. And it says, <laughs> and just to be a jerk, it says, date all the time. I should have put all of the time, but I figured all the time is just funny. Um, so yeah, a little bit more cash. So that is it. That is the back of that. Now, if you'll see here, this paper wasn't a true 12 by 12. So I had to, this is the part where it had the title of the strip of the piece of paper. So I just left it on there, even though um, sidewise it wasn't, but I still made it work and it'll still perfectly fit in my 12 by 12 sleeves um, for my scrapbook. But that is, I was thinking of putting the title here, but I felt that it just kind of took away from that. And I really like the way that is. Um, it's kind of a curtain over everything, a little, um, not a curtain, yeah, little drapes over everything and stuff like that. So, um, I really like the way it turned out. So I'm liking my layouts better because I'm getting more to practice. So, so yes. Um, so I do have some more layouts coming out soon. Maybe some, some cards. I don't know. What else? We'll see. So, uh, you guys, like I said, check out the shop. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um. I'm really working on my, and be kind please, <laughs> I'm really working on my layouts and trying to get them better and, and 
um, conveying what I want them to convey. So this one, I think it perfectly conveys how I wanted to put out feminine stuff, but it starts out really nice and classy, a little goofy. Then we just get out straight out dumb. Um, so yes. So there we go, you guys. Thank you for stopping by and stay tuned if you'd like to see the process video, right? Thank you, everyone. Bye. Okay, so this is basically my crazy process and it's been sped up, I think, four times at this point. And here I'm just selecting papers. There's the Magnolia paper that I chose, the A4 paper that I chose with the drapes and the swag of um, the bunting or whatever of the flowers. So I'm fussy cutting. I love using my Martha Stewart scissors to fussy cut, you guys. Those things are just perfect. And I have some specifically for paper and fabric. So anyway, um, so here I am just seeing how it's going to cover the Santa Claus part because I think I mentioned in the video that I actually did this paper. I used it upside down because I wanted to cover up that Santa Claus and I wanted those um, the, the beautiful pink ribbons that come along the side to be showing. So I'm just making sure that those um, parts where, the, where it swags down that actually covers the the Santa Claus image. And the funny thing is, if you really don't, unless you are the one that had the paper, you can't tell that the writing is upside down. So right there, I'm cutting along the flowers and along the, um, the edge, and you can see right there, of the lines of the drapes. So that way it looks like one uniform piece. So uh, luckily I was able to do it. Here I am just put, putting some of the glue. And I did get one of those fine point bottles and I just put my scotch, um, my quick dry. And I'm just applying that and see, and it's it's long, but I just measure it to make sure I cut it to the, the right size. But I want it to be uniform. So I had to use the two pieces as they were. And there I am just finalizing the gluing of that. Um, Let's see here, and here is just the placing of everything, and I have the extra pieces and everything. I always want to use everything and put too much, but I have to remember to just limit myself. So I'm grabbing some foam, and this is just basically how I make the custom foam for um, the pieces that I need. I will just put it on the back, basically, and you will see right now where I flip it over, and then I just trace around it, but when I cut it, I cut at least a quarter of an inch away from the line so that will be behind completely behind as you can see right there completely behind the border whatever I'm using to um, adhere that to so here I am and as you can see like I said this wasn't a true 12 by 12 so I had to have a little bit of the top part show so I can cover it well enough and here I am just taking some weakened Stella and this is the clear and going over all of the flowers and the leaves and everything just to give it a little bit of a sparkly touch so when you turn the page or it moves you can see the little sparkle along with it so at this point I am just trying to figure out the placing and I want it to be a progression of the pictures being um, the, the the nice one we're just sitting there then a little ducky face and then the full-on cheesy picture and I chose several of the papers there to mat them from the same paper pad and the pictures are all four by six and the mats are four and a quarter by six and a quarter that way it would show um, one eighth of a border around the entire picture frame I didn't want to have too much of a border so and then I was just kind of struggling trying to figure out which paper I was going to use for the third picture because the first two the pictures um, stand out very well so I had to figure it out so it doesn't um, so it doesn't just show the picture and it looks like just one piece where the other ones have a border and it's more obvious. So um, and here I just put this floral paper so you can see the uh, paper behind it. So the little to the top part it's already on foam, and now it's a matter of putting the rest of it on foam and I'm just kind of figuring out the placement of everything because once I glue this to the other photo it's you know it's just going to be one single piece so. And here I am just taking strips and pieces of the foam. And this is how I make the backings for many of my cutout parts or just embellishments. But in pictures, I don't like to use the pop dots that much because I feel that sometimes the image will sink in. So I, you know, I've said it before. This is what I use. I use the fun foam that you can get in any craft store in the kids section. So, and you have a uniform um, elevated section, you know, dimensional section. So there I am just putting it on the, on the back of that. And I was trying different adhesives. I was trying score tape to, um, to do that because I know that many people use different ones. I generally like to use glue, hot glue. 
All right, so at this point, I'm just trying to, like I said, uh, put the mats on the back of these pictures. That way to make sure that they are um, have the right dimension and, you know, pop up very well. And here I'm going to be using some of my doohickeys. And this one is the Surfing Leaf Doohickey Die. And I love, love the way this die came out. I have several leaf and fern dies. Um, I love it so much to the point that I got rid of uh, another fern die that I had. So, and I cut several from that same paper collection, and they ha there's this one that has like a light minty white um, print, and I used that. And I was here, I was just kind of fielding out to see if I wanted to use some of the tags. And initially, I was going to locate some of the tags there, but the way it ended up, the um, layout ended up being at the end. It just I liked it better, and. I wanted, I needed to have somewhere to put um, another die that I'm about to show you guys, which I wanted to use, but I really like the way these ferns, and the way I have them go the opposite way is obviously I just flipped over the paper when I ran it through my die cut machine. Um, I didn't need a shim, I didn't need any kind of metal exact, super duper like precise cutting blade, and this um, die is pretty fine, I mean the little, the stem of it is pretty thin throughout the whole thing, so... And some of the leaves are touching, but that's more towards the base of the little leaf, um, the, of the little branch or whatever it would be. And that is what I used. Like I said, I was just fielding out the tags, but in it, eventually I did not use it. So this is the other doohickey, and this one is the butterfly. This butterfly is gorgeous. This isn't the smaller regular butterfly. This is a big butterfly. You see the size of it. It's about three inches high. And um, four, basically, with the tails. And I just really wanted to use um use uh, that butterfly. I hadn't used it on any of my projects, so I felt it was time. I have to bust stuff out, and that way I can use it. But here I am replacing the little ferns so I can adjust where I want the butterfly. So, okay, so I took everything out, and now here I was going to add some flowers with this dimensional flowers from the Doohickey Volume 6, but um, I ended up cutting them all out in various... A prints and I just use the base of a brush to roll and curve them and then I just layer them so I did all of them the funny thing is I did like six layers and at the end of the whole thing I didn't even use them because I felt like it just didn't go it was a little too much a little too too much what I wanted and there was already flowers in the print of the of the drapes on the top and also there are the that it has the in the butterfly the floral print, so I really like that, and several of the backgrounds as well. But I figured I would still put it in the video so you can kind of see what you can do with that little flower, and it just makes really beautiful dimensional flower, even though I didn't use it because I was planning to make several of them and just cascade them about, but I felt like it was just too much because I had the ferns and then the butterflies. But I really, really, I really do like the way they came out, and you see on the dimensional house on the side of it um, how it looks. So here I am just regrouping and I'm just seeing where I was going to place this um, this title that said Smile Like Crystal. The only thing is, um, this was the first one I did. And the reason why I'm not showing you guys initially how what I did was because I made this one and I was going to use it. And it was a big sloppy mess on getting to it because I make mistakes just like everybody. And after I was trying it, I just totally didn't like it because I felt like the... Um, white paper, the white cardstock was just too stark wide. So I chose some of the paper. As you can see me flipping this paper, and there's this paper with other curtains, um, kind of ruched curtains, um, and it's very, very simple. So I use that to make my banner piece, and then I will show you in a second how I did it. And this is cut at one and a half inch wide, and then just the length of the paper so I can try it. And then I'm using the Faber-Castell, the soft brush marker, and as you can see, I start out and I messed up, but then I just moved off to the side and continued again because I would still have the space to do it. And I just wanted to make it simple. I mean, really look, I wanted it to look nice, but not too fancy. Just, just goofing around a little bit, but still have that calligraphy look to it. And um, I practice on several, several pieces because it's been a while. I really need to get back into the, the swing of things with this so I am able to do that nonchalant like you see some people on Pinterest or on um, Instagram, just doing them like nothing. Like, it's just like, oh, la da you know? Because my, my writing is completely different since I actually um, write in all caps. So what I did is I wanted to fishtail the ends of this banner, of this title, and then I felt like it was too white, but um, I, um, oh yeah, I, if you notice, I forgot to dot my eyes. 
ironically. But um, I go ahead and I lay this on a scrap piece of paper and I lay it on the, uh, along with the border, but I'm able to fussy cut myself, just eyeball it and cut the borders. So it has a nice pink border and it looks ju it's the same pink as the second picture uh, mat that, you, that I show. So here my bright idea was to actually write the... Um, write my journaling on vellum so then I could just stick it behind one of the pictures or papers and it would show through. So just a little something different because this is just a private joke between our family and in our, in our family and my siblings. So whenever one of us just says, smile like crystal, you end up with that cheesy look uh, for the pictures. So here I am pulling everything off again so I can then just do my final placing. I went ahead so I can go ahead and... Um, finalize my layout. So here I cut a strip, but I felt that it was too wide for the back of the title. So I can um, also give it more dimension. And here is where I am going to use hot glue because they're long strips and I just wanted to make sure that they stick and everything and I don't have a problem with them, especially since I'm going to be gluing it to a picture. And the picture's papers tend to have a glossy accent, a glossy co coating, excuse me. So here is the back of it, and I'm just spreading some uh, hot glue and make sure I flatten them out to get an even, an even spread for the hot glue because you guys know if you don't do that right away, the hot glue will have a bumpy, um, will leave a line, so then your picture will be all warped. And here I am just adding the lines of glue and adding the title. And I decided to put the journaling behind this the last card and just go along to the side to make it look like it just continues and it eventually ends up being um, see-through. So I'm back now with my uh, surfing leaves and I'm adding them to the the uh, the layout and uh, also you guys let me know what you guys think about my little voiceovers. I know I say and and uh a lot. I just I just think we all do that but I think I may do it a little more than usual but it's because I'm trying to collect myself or trying to remember what it is that I'm about to do or I did in this video. So I'm just uh, sitting here and actually if it sounds like I'm laughing, I pretty much am. Nathan's sitting on the couch as I'm sitting here talking to myself basically into my phone doing this um, this uh, this voiceover. And see, I get distracted. He had to actually mouth voiceover because I totally get distracted. Um, uh, here are all the embellishments. I'm back with this, you know, I have them all over the place. And as you can see, I've already placed that beautiful butterfly, which I absolutely love. And I did stickle that. I mean, I'm um, not stickle, excuse me. I used the Wink Estella on that. But here is the tag. And I'm using two of these tags, and I'm cutting it off so I can just stick it there. Now, that ribbon is this beautiful ribbon that I got from Rebecca. It's a Tilda ribbon. I've never opened it until now. So, Rebecca, thank you so, so much. I absolutely love it. And it went perfectly, those those grayish tones with the green fla uh, with the ring stars, absolutely perfect. And then just add, tied a little bit of jute twine to finish it up. So here I am just basically just finishing all of uh, my layout and adding the last bits of embellishments and I absolutely love it. I'm loving my layouts a little more like I said. Hopefully they will get better and I will be able to share more with you guys. And here I am just adding some Wink Estella to the letters. And then you see my big head peeking in the camera right there. So, you guys, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about my little pr uh, process videos. And I hope you like everything. You guys check out Tracy's shop. And I will see you guys in the next project. Bye, everyone.